targeted toward our futures as in mechanical engineering or any electrical engineering or computer software engineering. All the kids should go to robotics to learn stuff like that for new jobs when they get older. These are all things we're going we're gonna to need to know when we send astronauts back to the moon and then on to Mars, hopefully in the next, next few decades. So. We have it to where our robot will go into radioactive areas, pick up certain barrels of toxic waste, and then move it to a secure area. This is only the second year we've had a robotics team. First year, first tournament I took them to, they not only won, they won all the trophies to go with it. Wow. And uh, at, at State last year, they uh, got the award for Best Engineer Robot. This year we won two big tournaments. Uh, we got to the State Semifinals. For most of the day, one of our robots was undefeated and managed to get to the semifinals, just missing World Finals. If you'll notice, the, these bots look quite similar, but they're not the same. That is because uh, throughout the year of, of our competition season, it is important that we keep developing our concepts and make new ideas. We can't build one robot and expect it to last the season, it just doesn't work. So, the game is all about speed, speed and accuracy. That's what we all want. So, this year, we used a couple new sensors that we haven't used before. We only get to build within an 18 by 18 square and we only get to use so many motors, and so we have to think about how to distribute our power best and what mechanisms we want to build to accomplish each task. Uh, one, of the, one of the biggest problems we're having in our nation today is getting young folks to go into the STEM study. I'm very, very happy to see this happening and congratulations to you, uh, Mr. Vick, that uh, you're guiding these, these uh, young folks into this, uh, these fields. And, uh, and your, your aspirations to get into aerospace engineering uh, are really, really appreciated.